The annual Church and State Australian National Conference is on again this year in Brisbane, coming up next weekend, March 8 and 9. Lots of big speakers this year, and it's a great event. A lot of it will be available to watch right here on ADH TV. But there's nothing quite like being there. Host of the Church and State Show here on ADH TV and organiser of the conference is Dave Pello. Dave joins me now. Hi, Dave. Good to see you. Hey, Damien. How are you? You, you've always been mired in con controversy with this conference because for some reason people don't like the idea that politics and the church or religion in any way, shape or form should intertwine uh, due to a misunderstanding of the concept of the separation of church and state. Um, but uh, you've had extra controversy this year because Facebook, big tech are attacking you and Facebook will not allow you to advertise the conference. What's going on there? Well, if you advertise uh, photos of violence or blood and gore, war casualty scenes uh, from Pallywood or the Hamas Ministry of Health, there's no problem. If you post pictures that are evocative and uh, designed to, you know, invoke sympathy for casualties of war in Ukraine, there's no problem there. But if you show proof of the atrocities and barbarism that happened when Gazan residents and militants invaded Israel on October 7th, that's when you cross the line. And that's against community standards, perhaps a little bit too much truth. Ah. Uh, OK. All right. So it was motivated by the Im imagery that you were using and, and a fairly hypocritical and uh, inconsistent application of the rules there by Facebook. And what I, a surprise. And I do like I wouldn't post things that are ridiculously, you know, unpalatable. The same images are totally fine on Twitter, and as I said, the same type of images are fine on Facebook when in a different uh, theatre of war. But um, yeah, there is a double standard there, and there was nothing inherently wrong with the pictures themselves. Dave, um, let's get on to. I mean, given the fact that you aren't able to advertise, we should give the, the give the, uh, the the church and state conference a bit of a push, uh, and, and we should ask everybody out there to, to please amplify and let people know uh, that it's on and it's happening. It's a yeah. uh, uh, people freak out about, uh, as I said, uh, the, con the the conflation of religion and the state. Just explain for us what the conference is about, why you do it. Well, look, uh, if there's one uh, constituency that, especially in Australia is especially asleep and inactive and uninterested and, and perhaps self-censoring, it is Christendom. If you're an environmentalist, um, you've got no problem or, or diswelcome from being included in the public square. If you're a trade unionist, you're welcome in the public square. If you're a socialist, you're very welcome. If you're a secularist, you're very welcome. You can push any worldview at all and every voter has a right to participate fully except, it seems, uh, Christians. Now, of course, that's not the law, and we are well invited and, and welcomed into the public square legally and constitutionally, morally, ethically, in, in every way imaginable, except there are some shrill commentators who make a big deal out of it and pretend like we're on the verge of tyrannical totalitarian theocracy if uh, a Christian dares say, look, I don't think God designed it that way. And the best way we can flourish as humans in society is to actually humbly submit under the authority of Almighty God. They start clutching their pearls and, and saying, ah, oh, church and state, church and state, um, tax the churches and other irrational emotionalisms like that, which really only prove their totalitarianism. Who have you got speaking uh, this year? Well, uh, more than I can remember, there's 30 different speakers involved. Reverend Calvin Robinson is one of the most cancelled and controversial speakers um, appearing live via uh, video, um, taking questions from London. Uh, we've also got Avi Yemeni, um, Senator Ralph Babette. Um, we've got Stephen Shavura, um, Cindy McGarvey, Kevin Donnelly, um, one of, oh, yes, one of Australia's Donnelly. most uh, prolific yeah, yeah. public intellectuals. 30 odd speakers over 24 different segments. I do love the conference because it's great. You get so many great people from all over Australia together. It's really terrific uh, every year to have a chat. And I don't agree with everything that's said, but uh, that's what it's all about. It's about having the conversation. And I don't 100%. think we can keep our spirituality and our religion out of our politics or our culture. It's part of the culture. So obviously Correct. it's going to influence uh, these debates and these uh, discussions. And God knows we need a little bit more, uh, I guess, spirituality and religion uh, in our public discourse because we've probably <laughs> truly swung too far 
the other way. Uh, yes. The website is Church and State, just spelt out, Church and State, A N D State. Dot com dot au. Uh, people can get on there and you've got a 20% special discount code uh, that people can put in when they buy tickets, Dave, for viewers of ADH, viewers of the other side. You can type in other 20 or ADH 20 uh, and you can get yourself 20% off the, uh, the ticket prices for the event uh, in Brisbane this weekend. The Church and State show on ADH TV too, mate. Tell us a little bit about your show and when it's on and available. Right. So uh, the Church and State show is basically a continuing conversation of the conference where I will interview various guests and uh, they won't always be theological or Christian. Uh, essentially, it's the paradigm I'm coming from is of Christian. That's what I offer. And uh, if I'm wrong, I'm well open to the debate um, from guests right. or from viewers. Well, Dave, thanks very much for your time. We really appreciate it. The Church and State Show here on ADH TV and also Church and State Conference this weekend coming up in Brisbane. And also we'll have uh, lots of coverage of it on ADH TV as well. Mm -hmm.